Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Y'all, I am back because I'm going to show you how I made this super, super cute tote. How cute is it? Look at the inside. Isn't that just a doll? I love it. Now, this is the same way to make um, the tote bag or the lunch tote that has the cinch top, but what I did is I did not add the cinch top to it. I just decided to make it a tote, and I really think I like it much better. So, let me show you how I made this. So, let me get this out of the way. I have already got my fabric cut, and I am actually going to be using the same kind of fabric, similar fabric to that one, and it's in the collection. And let me tell you the collection name. Um, um, let's see. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to tell you. I can see one of my other. Um, oh, we whisk, whisk, W-H-I-S-K. You a Merry Christmas, okay? So I'm going to be using, this as my outside piece. Now this piece, I got it at Joann Fabrics. It's smart, not part of the collection, but I think it'll go as a great lining. And then I also have a um, piece for the brim and also a piece for, two pieces for the handles. But let's start with the outer part first. Okay, so what you're going to need is you're going to need a piece that's 18, 18 inches long by 12 and a half inches wide. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold them in half and I'm gonna move this one out of the way here. I'm gonna fold it in half just where the sides meet and I'm just gonna sew a seam down each side. Let's get to the sewing machine. Okay, so I've already got it on my sewing machine. I'm using white polyester Guterman brand thread. That is the thread that I mainly use all the time. Um, I have my stitch on a stitch length of a two and a half. That's usually what I sew on. So let's just get going. I'm just kind of taking it, I'm kind of holding it. And let me see if I can get you down a little more. I'm kind of holding my edge. I want to make sure that it's meeting the edge. Now I have already cut my fabric and I also added a pellon. I think it's an 808, it's a fusible pellon. It's like an interfacing that's got fusible on one side. So I've already got that ironed onto my fabric and the pretty sides of my fabric are meeting. I'm gonna sew this all the way down. I went ahead and did my ironing and got things prepped just to save time so this wouldn't be so long. Okay, so that is one side, okay? So now I'm gonna flip it around and we're gonna do the other side. Make sure your tops, your top of your fabrics meet, kind of hold it down. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is looking good. I I try to line my pressure foot up with the edge of my fabric. That's how I can kind of gauge. So that's just what I do. It's my preference of how I sew. Okay. 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 So now I am going to also do the same thing to the other side in a moment. But first we're going to box our corners. And I'm gonna show you how I box the corners. I'm gonna make my corners where they're four inches in width. So um, I'm gonna get you over here by my mat and I wanna show you how I box the corners. Okay, so I wanted to bring you over here cause I have this mat over here and that way you can see exactly what I'm doing here. I wanna make sure and get you down. I want you to be able to see how to box these corners. Okay, so as you see, it's folded in half and each side seam is sewed. I quickly went ahead and did for the lining as well so I could do this at the same time. And what you're gonna do is, as you see here, see how the inside of the fabric and this side has got the pell on. I believe it's an 808 or a 909. 808, I think, I think. Just, if you go to like Joann's or something, just make sure you get the pell on interfacing um, that is, um, that has fusible on, on one side. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to reach in there and you're going to grab your little 
point here. And I'm gonna kinda, kinda put this down where I can kind of see that this is in the middle. Now, the nice thing about this Pellon is it does kind of bend a little bit and it's almost like paper in a way. And so I'm just gonna try to try to go here and I'm gonna try to line this up. And I wanna make sure my point is like right at the edge of a line. See the line on my mat? I'm gonna go up two inches. And the nice thing about this, um, Nice thing about this, this ruler that I'm using, and this is just a little, little ruler that I probably got at Walmart years ago. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going up, I'm going up two inches, so one, two. So this is gonna be where I'm gonna go to. This is my two inch mark. So you wanna make sure that you got your stuff all nice and straight, your, your pouch or your little bag, and you're gonna kinda take your ruler and kinda line it up going right across and let me get the lid off my pen here and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna mark off my, where my two inches are I'm gonna do this on the other side as well so see I can just go over here I can just kind of open it up if you have to stick your hand in there just go ahead stick your hand in there make sure your peak or your point is that on the line so you'll be able to measure this well and we're going to go up two inches again so just draw across doesn't matter I'm using a, a sharpie marker it doesn't matter because I'm on the inside it's going to be on the inside and no one will see it I'm going to go ahead and do my do my lining piece and again, this art has Pellon on the outside. I believe, I think it was 808. Y'all, it's 808 or 809. So one of those. Okay, so I'm going to get this lined up. Okay, and I'm gonna go do the other side, flip it around, put my hand in there. I'm going to line it up with that peak right there. I want to make sure that I'm lining up. I like to line mine up and kind of crease it down. And I'm just going to go up one, two inches. Okay. So that's where I'm gonna sew my seams. I'm gonna sew four seams, one on each side of this, and then uh, we'll move on to our next step. Okay, so I was over there sewing away just talking to y'all and realized I never hit go. So I have already just gone ahead, sewed a seam on here, here, and the same with my lining. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut down about, I don't know, half an inch or so, and just cut it off and get rid of the bulk here. So let's do the same thing and let me get you in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing better. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I was over, went over to stop my video so I could come back over here and show you this part and realized that I hadn't hit go. But that's okay, that was the simple part. Okay, so this is the outer side. So I am going to put this on, turn this right side out. You see, it feels like a really thick paper almost on here. Okay, so look how it sits, how it stands up all by itself. So, yep, I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. And get that off. Now this one, we wanna leave it where the fabric is on the inside, okay? So don't flip that one inside out right side out so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to take this one leave it on the outside and I'm going to put my the other one inside of it I'm gonna press it all the way down and you're gonna take your side seams and you want to line them up okay so I'm gonna grab a couple of little pins here. 
and I'm going to line up my side seams so they don't move. I'm going to do both sides and then kind of work my way with the others. I've got a couple strings I need to pull there, pieces of thread. Okay, so let me get that trimmed. Now work your bag. You want these to meet each other because they're the same size. So you want them to meet each other, okay? Let me grab a few more pins. And I think I just dropped one on the floor. Gotta watch that one. Okay, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna put some pin all the way around just to kind of hold this in place. And I look at my clock in here. I have not changed the clock in my craft room. Ouch, that was good. Um, but I have not changed the clock in my craft room. And um, as I say, if I start to bleed, I might as well go check my blood. But it didn't bleed. Sometimes when I do my check my blood for my for um, just to check to make sure my sugar is good. Um, Sometimes I have to squeeze and squeeze, just get any blood out. I think I'm running out. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure these are even. This is the easiest bag you will make, okay? The easiest. So easy, easy. Now I'm going to take my hand, kind of work the inside. See how the inside and the outside, okay? So now I'm going to go to my sewing machine, and I'm going to sew a seam all the way on the top. To hold these together okay okay I'm making sure it's going looks like it is so I'm gonna go ahead I pulled my tray off of the end of here and I'm just gonna slip this under it's easier for me and let me just move it completely out of the way That's my noise y'all and I am going to start by sewing I like to sew like toward where a seam is okay so I've got a seam over here right here I'm gonna do my down feature and I'm going to just lift this up. I wanna make sure my threads are not gonna be going nuts on me. And I'm gonna take the first pin out and I am going to sew all the way around till I come back to where I begin. Just kind of hold it down. Just make sure if like if your any of your pins come out, just make sure that everything's like right on top of each other. I began. Just gonna back stitch right there. Bring my needle up. Grab my scissors. I'm gonna trim off these threads. And so there you go. Now we have our inside and outside sewed together. Simple, right, y'all? So so simple. Okay, I'm gonna put that to the side. Now we're gonna work on our straps. Okay, our straps is our next thing. Okay, so what I did and what you need for a strap, you need a piece that's 12 inches in length and four inches in width. You also need a piece of the pelon 
interfacing um, on the inside and just cut that one at about one and a half inches. And what I did is I folded my fabric in half and I ironed it, opened it back up. I folded up about a quarter of an inch or so, just however much you want. And then, um, and actually what I did first is I actually folded up on the, where the interfacing is and then I ironed that up. And then for this one, I just folded it about the same distance and then I folded that down and I've got them ironed in half. And now I'm just gonna sew a seam down each side and I've got two straps. Okay, so I'm just going with a straight stitch right down the side. And I always start where there's an opening, that way I can go ahead and get that closed. So all the way down. And once you get to the end, I'm gonna grab my other strap that I already have prepared. And I'm gonna put that underneath there and I'm just gonna chain stitch here. And so this one all the way down. and I'm gonna sew down the other side. So now you're just gonna take this one, slip it over, and you're gonna take this one and you're gonna sew it down just like you did the other side. Because I mean, even though the side is not open, it just kind of makes it look more finished with that extra stitch there. Okay, I'm gonna grab this one. We're going to get these attached to the rim. Okay. Okay, let's get back over to the okay. table. So, for the brim, which is this part right up here, this um, around the top, what you're going to need is four pieces of the fabric of your trim fabric or whatever you want to call it the brim, I guess, or it could be the rim at the top. Um, I just call it the brim. Um, but anyway, it could be called something else, but you're gonna need four pieces, 12 and a half inches in length, and then you're gonna have them two and a quarter in height. I've gone ahead and cut my, cut a piece of Pellon, one for each side, um, and this one is, I just cut a little bit smaller, like two inches, just left that quarter inch at the bottom. You can do the whole thing if you want, um, but you don't have to. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your piece of you're gonna turn your first piece and you're gonna line it up on your grid, okay? So, let me get you down just a tad. Sorry about my messy mat here. Okay, so what you're gonna need, we're gonna have to install our install our um, strap. And so we wanna make sure it's, it's equal on each side. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna go in, you're gonna make a mark at about the four inch mark. And I'm gonna move it over here to that inch. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. So four inches from each side, okay? And then you're gonna take your strap and you're gonna kinda fold, kinda bend it like this. Make sure it's not twisted. And you're going to kinda put it in the middle of where you made that mark. And then I'm just going to sew it and I think I might go up just a little bit okay let me grab one more pin here so now I'm gonna take it and you want to make sure it doesn't get twisted because then it just won't be good I'm gonna line it up there's that little mark I'm gonna line it up in the middle of my mark and I'm gonna put the pin Let's go ahead and prepare the other one. Okay, so I've got this one here. I'm gonna find my my four inches. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna find my four. One, two, three, four. 
That way then your straps are gonna be lined up nice and even. Let me grab two pins here. And I'm gonna line this one up. And I'm gonna go get it pinned in place. I'm gonna take my strap. I'm gonna kind of line it up in my middle of where my mark is and pin it. Now I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and sew these together. I'll be right back. Okay, so I sewed both of my straps on. So see how they're sewed downward? Then when they come out, they'll come out like this. Isn't that gonna be so beautiful? So now what you wanna do is now you have another piece, the same size, two and a quarter by 12 and a half, and you're gonna layer them on top of each other. And what you're going to do is you're going to sew a seam down the top where this, um, where your strap is, okay? So you can pin if you want. Sometimes I don't pin if I'm just sewing, but um, you can pin if you like. And I'm just gonna kinda sew this all the way down or pin this down. And just make sure it stays flush with the edge of your fabrics. And I'm gonna keep going. Kind of make sure, make sure you pull it where it's not not leaving any light gaps or anything, and then just sew it. You're gonna pin it all the way and sew it down. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, and then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine. Okay, so I've got both of them pinned. Now I'm gonna sew the sew this one, first one down, and then we'll sew the other one. Now I'm going across where a strap is. Go ahead and remove my pins there. Okay, so there we got both of the tops. Now we've got to go combine these together. Okay, so what you're going to do on your next step you're going to open them up and as you see the seam um, the raw edge from your your handle is down inside and it's going to be hidden down inside so what you're going to do now is you're going to open them both up and I'm going to put them face together so I'm going to put like where the pellon is I want to make sure the pellon is on the same side so this one has pellon on this top and this one has pellon so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up I'm gonna grab a few clips. Sorry, I didn't mean to bump this. You know, whenever you're in a small craft room, sometimes, you know, it is difficult to video sewing. I mean, this takes me a lot of time. So I do hope that you're enjoying this. I do, I do. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of pin these together. Just like this, just clip them together. I'm going to do, oops, that went to fly away. I'm going to do this with my husband. I checked our Life360 and my husband, my daughter, and my grandson have not made it to San Antonio yet. I guess there was a lot of traffic. They're almost there, but not quite. Hopefully my husband will be calling me soon. So I told him to call me when they get in the hotel room. So he said he would. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna sew. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew 
a seam here and a seam on the other side and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got both side seams sewed down and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold this. I'm going to fold it where my seam that's sewed together is toward the top. Okay, so I'm folding it over and I want to make sure that seam is right on the edge. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of pins here and then I'm going to run and go press this. I moved my sewing mat or my cutting mat to my kitchen island because it's just me here. So, and I'm not doing any cooking or anything. So, I put it there so I could sew because sometimes it's hard to, for me to cut fabrics on my table because it's lower. So, it kind of hurts your back a little bit. Okay, so... As you see here, see how I've got that seam right along the top and I'm gonna keep working my way all the way around until I have this pinned in place. See, we got a little seam right here. You've got this seam right here that you can see. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna pin it in place. And I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around. Then I'm going to and then I am going to um, iron it and then I'm going to sew a top stitch all the way around just to enforce that just to reinforce it y'all this is 721 it's been quite a long day because we have this extra hour and it's wonderful because I still have I'm going to probably I think I'm going to make a couple of these for my craft fair I think that they're going to be sweet and I probably will do just these two like in Christmas prints and then I'll do um, maybe like two more. I'll probably just do like four just in case they don't sell. But you know what? They're so darling. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. And um, this fabric is just, just beautiful. So I just love fun fabrics. Can I get that pin? And I think I could probably use one more pin over here. Okay. And so there you go. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. So um, now all I'm going to do is iron it and I'm going to go ahead and sew a top stitch going all the way around. I'll be right okay. back. Okay. Gave it a quick press and now I'm going to sew that top seam. And here's my side seam over here. So I like, because I like to start on the side seam. So I'm going to just kind of start. I'm going to do like maybe quarter inch seam all the way around. This just gives it that little top stitch to hold everything down nicely. I'm going to make my way around. So what are you guys doing tonight? You guys working on anything in your craft room? It's been a pretty busy day for day for me. You know, I've got so many things that I want to do and everything. I know I'm not going to probably get my bowl cozy sewed while my husband is gone. But I'm going to try to cut. And then, you know, the next weekend, I'll probably start sewing some more. But I want to do the hot cocoa things that I want to do. So I need to get those started. I need to finish cleaning my, my extra spare bedroom. I got to get those sheets washed because my brother will be here this week. He is going to be here Thursday night. And he'll leave Saturday morning. So it'll be great to have him. And now I'm over here to the edge. And there we go. So now I just sewed myself a seam all the way around. I am not the straightest sewer, y'all. And you don't have to be perfect. I think I'm going to flip this. I like this outside better. 
Um, you don't have to be a perfect sewer, okay? If you say, I can't sew straight all the time, you know, I'm not perfect, and I just do my best. That's all. That's all that I care is to do my best, okay? Okay, so now I have this all ready to go, and let me show you how it's going to go on my bag. Okay, so what you need... What you need to do is we've got our bag and you're going to take this top piece, the brim, and I'm going to put it over my bag and I'm going to meet those side seams. I've got some threads hanging out, so we'll get those trimmed off. I'm going to line them up with my side seams and I'm going to put my clips on here. And I'm just going to work my way around, just making sure this is nice and even. The best that I can. And then I'm going to make sure the other side seam is lined up. Let me get these threads off of here. I'll just finish trimming them all when I'm done. I got that side seam. That looks pretty good lined up there. And then I'm gonna keep grabbing this edge and work my way around. And we're close to done. Now, all I'm gonna do is take this over to my sewing machine and sew a seam around the whole top, okay? Okay, so now I've got this already on my machine, taking off my first clip. I'm gonna gently work my way around. And I'm just gonna make sure I've got it lined up. And I've gotta move it as I go. watching the Hallmark Channel tonight. I need to put that down. I'm uh, watching it. Jordan Sparks is on. Are you guys watching the new Hallmark Christmas movie tonight? I've got the sound off, you know, because I can't do this and listen, but it is running, but, you know, they always play them again, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, it's only 30 minutes in. Probably catch the good part in a bit. Now, um, on the other bag where it had the cinch top, it really, it, it, it hit, it hid all of the seams, okay, where these raw edges are. And since I'm not adding the cinch top to it, I had to make myself like a little, um, I just put a little piece of fabric around the edge to hide them. And so, I think that that would work. Or if you have a serger, which I don't, um, you can always serge it just to catch these edges so nothing ravels or so it stays nice. But I don't have a serger, so I'm just making do what I think is best. I've got a little pucker right there, but I'm just gonna sew it down and not worry. There is that. Okay. Now, take a look at this, y'all. Sorry for my wiggle in here. So, I'm going to go back and I'm going to cover this up, but I wanted to show y'all now what it looks like. Isn't this the easiest bag ever? look at that look at that that's so cute and look at the inside oh my gosh okay so I'm gonna work on I'm gonna flip these back down I'm gonna work on concealing these raw edges okay so um, what I did is I cut myself a piece of fabric on the other one about an inch and a quarter and I ironed it in half and then I made myself I don't know what it's called like a 
like a bias tape or something. I'm not a seamstress, y'all. I'm not a seamstress. Let me go make that and then I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So what I have done now is I have taken myself a strip of fabric and I use the strap fabric that matches the, the top, the brim. And I, what I did, it's an inch and a quarter. Got a string right there. And I, I just went ahead and I have ironed it together. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here on the side and I'm going to put it where the fold is down and I'm going to add my clip and I'm just going to line this up all the way around and I'm going to sew it on and then I'm going to flip it over and iron it and then sew it down and that will cover up all my raw edges. So making my way around here. I just got a call from my husband. They made it to San Antonio and uh, my granddaughter, um, they are set to perform tomorrow night. So they're going to have to wait their turn all day tomorrow. Ah, but they'll find out like very fast after what place they've made. So Anyway, I'm excited. I cannot wait to see how they do. Regardless, you know what, regardless if they make it past this round or not, they have made it to state and that's huge, very huge. And I am so, so proud of her. I couldn't be more proud. I wish I could call her, but you know, whenever teenagers are with their friends and She's with her, her band folks and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, I won't call her. I'll just wait to hear. I'll be patient. And um, and this morning, I made my husband and my grandson and my granddaughter uh, and my daughter some banana nut muffins. I had some bananas that were going to go bad. And so, I made them some muffins. And... Um, I told my husband while I go, did y'all eat the muffins? And my daughter went, what muffins? And my husband goes, oh, sorry, mom made muffins. I'm like, you forgot to tell him I made muffins? So she was digging into the muffins. So anyway, okay, so I've got this all trimmed or clipped. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here, sew all the way around. And then when I get back over here, I'll overlap this piece that I left open. I'm going to get this folded, but they have made it safe and sound to San Antonio. And I'm grateful that they're safe. My husband is like all worried about me being here. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm in our home. I'm safe. We have an alarm on our house. I am not scared. He just worries about me, you know, so I appreciate that he cares that much. I told him, babe, I am fine. Did you set the alarm? I'll set the alarm. Do I need to do it from my phone? Oh my goodness, that husband of mine, y'all. I guess I am, I'm just gra grateful that he cares that much about me, you know, so. Anyway, oopsie, I need to use my down feature so nothing will move on me when I move things around here. Gonna keep in this cold flush. Keep it going. Because I'm going to cover up this raw edge and all will be good in the world. This, this fabric really does ravel. This is a very easy bag to make and it's beginner friendly. It really, really is. Keeping this lined up. And when I get over here to the edge here, I'm just going to kind of take it and kind of fold it back. See right there, I'm going to fold it back. That way then it kind of covers up that raw edge there and it's up inside. Or I could cut it off, but I'm just going to fold it. It'll be just fine. Okay. 
gonna give that one a back stitch. This up. And so now what I'm gonna do, I've got this little piece here and I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna fold it up and I'm gonna go take it to my iron and I'm gonna fold it over where it's going to, um, where it's going to be down inside my bag but I'm gonna iron it where it's down and then I'm gonna top stitch it on this side all the way around to top stitch that down and then it covers up my raw edge. So as you see, look at the inside y'all, it's looking great and the fabrics are so cute. Okay, take it to the iron, I'm gonna give it my last top stitch and then I'll show you the result. Okay, so as you see, I've ironed it down. It puckers out a little bit, but I've got to stitch it down. So now I'm gonna start over on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it up underneath. You wanna make sure you're grabbing that seam that we have there. I'm gonna make sure I feel underneath there. I'm gonna feel and make sure that it's down just, just good here. Once I know I'm in place, I'm going to put my needle down here. Let's get you over here a little bit closer. This is the final stitch, y'all. And so now what you can do is you can do a like a you can do like a zigzag or you can do just a straight stitch. I think I'm going to do a zigzag. I think I'll zigzag this one. I've got a little piece right here. It's pretty thick, so I'm going to have to go slow. Okay, I'm going to move over to a zigzag. Gonna make sure. And I'm just gonna take it slow all the way around. Just gonna go all the way. A little thread right there, get that out. And isn't this an easy project, y'all? So easy, beginner friendly, super easy. I'm gonna pull that down. I wanna make sure that it's all down. I'm trying to pull this away. Pull this as much as I can. This is down. I think I'm gonna try to see if I can. I'm gonna try to see if I can sew two more of these tonight and go and try to finish cleaning up that room before I go to bed tonight. <sighs> Lots to do, but I just have so much I need to do. And um, you know, I don't have to worry about cooking or anything. The hub's not here, and I'm not gonna cook for myself. I grabbed myself something earlier, and so. And this right here. Get that thread off. And it's still going down the right way. Started. And y'all, we've officially finished this bag. We did it together, y'all. Okay. I'm going to trim this off. I'm going to give it a press and I'll be right back. And just like that, y'all, we have two. Aren't they adorable? I love them. I love this one, but I love this one too. I love them both. They're both so cute. And see how it hid those raw seams inside by me sewing it down? You can't see the raw seams anymore. And everything looks really good. Now it'd be really cute, add a little bow or something on the side of this. I like to add a bow like off the handle. I might go back and do that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna see if I can do 
Let's see if I can sew two more tonight. And that way I have four. Now this is going to be in my craft fair and I have to decide exactly how much or what I think a good price is going to be. So um, I have to really think about it. I'm probably going to sell these for, these are probably going to be like 22. I'm thinking 22 to 25. Um, they're super cute. It took fabric to make them. They're not, um, it's not cheap fabric. So I have to think about that, but they're darling. Absolutely so cute. Look at that and very sturdy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me making this bag. I know it's kind of a like here and there and everywhere whenever you're kind of jumping around on the machine and everything like that. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you were, hope it was well enough for you to be able to follow. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I'm going to get this, get, get another one going and I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye.